Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, I'm, sir. Uh, Rob Locker. I'm here with my friend Wade Berger of the Shed Aquarium. What like department in the Shed? I mean, obviously you don't take take care of fish. Yeah, take no, care of kids. We do. Um, so I'm uh, the manager of the Teen Learning Lab, and we are part of the Guest Engagement Department at mm. Shed Aquarium. So it's actually um, our learning um, division, our group, as we call it, um, encompasses um, several different sets of learners and our guest engagement department really works with learners who drop into the building so our guests on the floor we actually have a volunteer crew that like uh, try some lure children into your lane <laughs> no they <laughs> similar but they do um, they do like exhibit interpretation oh. and then um, um, uh, exploration throughout the aquarium and then the teen lab is a branch of it and also um, and again drop in in the case that kids can just show up um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Awesome, show up. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Yeah, show up. Come by the team lab. (laughs) Um, And uh, it's free, too, so that's the other part of it is it's like that drop-in capacity. So we don't directly take care of animals, but we actually have folks throughout the building that partner with the team lab, which is cool because they take care of the animals, and then they bring them here, which is awesome. So not today, but sometimes, (laughs) yeah. Sweet. Well, um, today we're going to play Braid. Yeah. uh, I've never played this game before, much to my embarrassment. Um, it's a classic. I, I hadn't played Settlers of Catan until like a week ago or two weeks ago. Okay, well. And like my degree is in like video games and learning, <laughs> so I get a lot of crap for that, but yeah, it has to happen. Well, we're going to try and sort of observe the tutorial and um, comment on how the game teaches. I think that's, mm-hmm. so I, I just finished reading this book, Learn mm-hmm. to Play, about designing video game tutorials. It's not the greatest book in the world, but it got me thinking about like, mm-hmm what examples are um, yeah. out there and sort of yeah. um, maybe try and do a bit of a catalog. So thanks for helping me. Yeah, of course. And I I love Braid. I don't want to give away anything, so I'm not, I'm not going to say a lot. But I love Braid specifically for... I mean, for I've heard a lot about Braid. It would be how hard they to give, do a spoiler. Yeah, but like how they give instructions to the player is mm-hmm. amazing. And like it's one of those games that I always use when talking about video games and learning because... I wish we gave instructor instructions to our learners in the way that Braid gives instruction to their players, mm-hmm. um, because it's amazing. It's embedded and built into the experience. It's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. That's the ideal. So let's see a great example. All right. Of the tutorial. I feel like I should. I should have. Um, we should say that like it did pop up and tell me to use the arrow keys. So <laughs> I did have those instructions, but this is literally the first screen when the game starts. Like it pops up. It says to use the arrow keys to move, and that's it. There's no menus, there's no start button, there's nothing. Right on. Right so this is a level. Yep, this is a level, level in the game. Cool. So you, ah, and it moves the camera yep. to follow you. Yep. I think you can, can you jump yet. Oh yeah, you can jump. It hasn't told you how to jump yet. No, it hasn't told you how to jump. you can. And we're not just a shadow, we are a little guy. <laughs> There's a constellation whose importance we don't understand yet. Yeah, but I think it is actually really important. I can't remember. All right, so then what we got, like, you know, telling us World 2. So what's awesome is... <laughs> is there no World 1? Just start at World 2. Well, I think this is World 1. Oh. I think this is what they consider World 1. And then this is World 2. And then what's awesome is that, like... We can go around in here, and it did see like it popped up and told us like how to get into that first world mm. um, with the arrow key. Yeah, so, so like just in time teaching there. Yeah, but this is like the home world that you go oh, up and down also do the ladders. They didn't tell us that yet. Huh. Um, but as you go into rooms, <laughs> I like that they have blocks that are the quasi D and Z. Z. What does, oh, what does Z, Z do? Oh. oh, Z also jumps. Oh, there you go. See, look, built-in instructions right into the yeah. game. Yeah, um, in the level design. Yeah. See, and I didn't. I did not know. Yeah. So you can, you can use W A S and D, but they told us arrow keys when we first started out. So I'm going to use arrow keys. Um, but yeah, these other worlds or these other things, like this, becomes like the home map for the whole game. But yeah, let's go into world two. All right. And another thing that's I and love. And there's no loading. No, there's no loading. This game's super, super simple. Um, I love that, like, here's how I would play this game, by the way. (laughs) On to the next thing. Um, And they know, I feel like the designers of the game know that, because, like, when you're in these 
things. It's not the instruction. It doesn't get you. It's, it's not like, like they make you stop. When no. You get the, the no. Book. But it's like we're on a surge to rescue. Can the... I close the store? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, totally. Totally. No, oh, no, we're not open today. Oh, okay. It's all good. It's a Wednesday. Cool. It's all good. All right. So, but what's cool about I love about this is it's like Tim is off on a search to rescue the princess. She has been snatched by a horrible and evil monster. But this happens because Tim made a mistake. Are we Tim? We're, we must be Tim. Like it doesn't say you're Tim. You're doing these things. Right. Um, you know, it's like kind of vague and. Um, this Tim guy sounds like a screw up. I mean, these stories are just like really long and. Um, yeah, by by video game standards, like this paragraph is. But it's not like he knows she tried to be forgiving. But it's not like you should do this next. This is what you're gonna do in level one. Right. Our our world. This is backstory. Now you got our world though. So this is uh -huh. including. Um, if we learn from a mistake and become better from, for it, shouldn't we be rewarded for the learning rather than punished for the mistake? Mm -hmm. So that's us. What if our world differently? Did you mean what it said? We can remove the damage. Alright, so I'm going to go into this door here. And we only have one of the doors available to us right now. And it's a three. So I'm going there. Three easy pieces. That's as much of a menu as you get in this whole game, by the way. It's like that little screen yeah, right there. Yeah, door rooms. Rooms with many doors. Yep. Oh, look at that. Now we know what the space bar does. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what... And it doesn't even in, say... Like, console versions or whatever. Does it... Like, if you plug in a controller right Oh, now, it changes it. Does yeah. it change to yeah. A or something? Yeah, it does. Yeah, because... Um, you can get this on the Xbox Arcade, Xbox 360. But like, it doesn't say X spacebar to jump. Like, it could just say anything there. But you need to jump because you can't actually like get over this without jumping. It's pretty cool. And then again, we get the little arrow for going up. So even though we did that on that ladder yeah, before, it's, it's at least telling us yeah. now. It's nice that it only teaches you what you absolutely need to know at mm -hmm. this moment. And also, I think you can just, yeah. You yeah, don't have to do yeah, anything. You probably can't go. even. Uh, yeah, I wonder how, how jumping works. Okay. So that's flashing. Obviously, yep. that's important. And you can't just like go down to it or whatever. Okay. So we have to like. And obviously, these things are like growing, glowing, and spiky. So I'm pretty much assuming that they're bad. Yeah. I mean, it's possible that you wouldn't know that. As right. a, but. But let's just fail and see what. what yeah, happens. but what I want to do is. Oh, there, yep. I wanted to know what the button was. I couldn't remember what it was. So we haven't been taught that yet. Okay. I'm gonna skip that for now. Don't. Yeah. No spoilers. All right. No, but what what happens if you fail and die here? Go ahead and go on the spikes. Well, actually, that's the whole point. Like you can't. All right. I'll go on the spikes. Okay. So, so that's, you don't die. Something. So it does tell you. Shift. And this is that part okay, about. That's the rewind. Yeah, this button. is the part about damages and mistakes that you can do over again, right? So, uh -huh. like, you can. I can hold this shift and. I sat there for a little while. I must have. You can rewind. I can rewind this whole world huh. and do it all over again. Um, but yeah, we picked up that puzzle piece, and it looks like we need to have three puzzle pieces. Yeah, it's nice level. that the puzzle piece doesn't come back. No, it was. Yep, we haven't been. There are that. time immune things. Or yeah, like things that glow usually, I think, are time immune. I don't know that for sure though. They haven't told us. So, but then this is just like Mario. You know, but look at this. And now he's back. <laughs> oh. You can't once you rewound so, time though. You can't fast forward. So you times. could just like. Um. Oh man. I'm like doing a really poor job of this. I should just let him go. Turn back yeah, to we me. haven't been taught to kill him yet. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> All right. See, and I think. So yeah, his tears are what tell us that. So if you look, I don't think we can get that without. We can't just get that, so we have to jump on him. Get that. 
and then oh, and it refreshes it in case you kill him before you. Yeah, you realize that. Before you realize that, there's a cannon of little All right. monster dudes. So this one, I think it's high enough. I have to hit them both. What? Yeah. So like, it builds on itself. Okay. This is what I love about this game. Everything is built on itself. Again, I, as an educator, I wish that we did. You know, that's mm -hmm. the something we try to replicate with learning, right? But like, so there's one here, and it's that height. So there's two here, I gotta hit them both. And so you gotta like, all right, you gotta hit this guy, and then you're gonna have to hit that guy on the same, yeah, on the next on the same jump. thing. Yeah. Wait for them to create a new one. Boom. There you go, all right? right? Wow. So you have to get both of them. Yeah, I never would have that. I feel like that would have been I also tricky should, to figure in, out. In my mind, when I first played Braid, the first level is the hardest level in the game. It is absolutely so hard because it's such this, like, scaffolded whatever, like, if you sit and figure that out, yeah, okay, there was one there, there's two here, like, I gotta use them both, right? Uh -huh. um, what's awesome about that is it's, like, it's sort of like learning the hard way because now you'll just try a bunch of things in the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, like, setting you up to yeah. be an exploratory learner not going to lay it out for you yep. um, in the style of like uh, Farmville or whatever. Yeah, right, right, like, right. Here's step one, here's step two, here's yeah. step three, right? But those two things you just did, those happen throughout the whole game. Like jumping on the guy to get something and jumping on two of them to get something. And then Does also... Does it keep going? Does, if you get like four or five, can you like jump super, super I don't super think it high? ever becomes that important to be able to do that. But the rewinding of time, there's times when you want to jump on the guy rewind because jump you need two you need two uh, guys and there's only one uh, so you jump rewind hit him again on the so that he'll come back and then you land on him again and then pop up yeah nice yeah and it just refreshed our yeah, memory about bar. jumping in case we i think that's also to show you you can jump through those things too oh, okay right like yeah yeah you can jump through those things so we can go so they're permeable from the bottom but not from the top you yep. can't jump down can also dance. <laughs> All right. So then again, this is still part of the tutorial. This is teaching the next piece, which is with the little clouds. Okay. Now, the best part is, you know, I can't get through there, right? Because there's a lock. So you have to go and so okay, lock the key. Puzzle. Which that's pretty familiar. Uh huh. I like that it follows his hand in the sprite. Yeah. And then it stays there. But if we rewind, the key is still in your, or the key goes back into your hand. Huh. So there's times when you need the key to do two things. It's really hard. I like that the fuse tells you when the new, oh, cloud the new cloud's is gonna, gonna come. It does the same for those guys when they shoot out too. Yeah. I think this one. So like a lot of a lot of the teaching isn't teaching, it's just like making things obvious. Oh. See and that's that's another thing. I didn't just die there, but like I missed my cloud, so, so it's why not rewind? Rewind and I do mean that you again. could also they gave you a ladder so yeah, you to can go come back. back. Yeah. This way, but Alright. This is as I said, the hardest part in the whole game. So it popped up with an up. I, I think honestly this is the hardest thing in the entire game. Like mm. if you're gonna if someone's gonna watch this and like know how to do this, it's 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 so it's the only time I feel like in the game that something is out of sync. Uh -huh. Like out of order. Like you learn how to do this and it's something you never use again. Mm. Um, but anyway, so you're supposed to look at this map or this puzzle, right? We're supposed to start putting this puzzle together. Okay. That's the so, bottom left corner, clearly. Yep. I think you they can, don't snap, do they? They can oh, rotate, okay. so that's the hard part. Or that's oh, so maybe it isn't the bottom left corner. Yeah. It could be the top left. See, this this one goes like the bottom right, I suppose. It goes there. I think this whole piece is like... Mm -hmm. Somebody's arm there. Yeah. I think it's going there. Yeah. I think it's like that. Again, and this is just gonna be might be that corner. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's sort of like this. So we need to go get more puzzle pieces. But if you notice, 
Like there's no way to get that last puzzle piece, right? I mean, there's like, I can't jump there, I can't make that jump, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to jump off that guy and get there. Yeah. So there's something else that we're gonna have to learn later on to get that puzzle piece. We can't get this one. Yeah, we can't get that one either. So we're gonna have to backtrack. Yeah, well, I think we'll backtrack later on in the world. You know, I wonder if we can actually... So rewinding time right now will also rewind that puzzle, so I don't want to do that. I think... Oops. I think we want to knock that guy down there. Oh, no, that didn't work. Uh, I don't have know. No replacement yeah, we have, dude. yeah, we have no way of knowing that. So... Okay, on we go. On we go. We have to live with mysteries. Yep, we don't know. <laughs> Alright, so this... You only have that much time. Okay. Or wait, is it not time? I think we need to... Okay. Knock yeah. them all out, maybe. Oh, yeah! You knock them all out, and then we get, um... Then we need that door opens. See how that door's got a little... Yeah. It's oh, got man. A little. Like, I'm gonna dim... Poor demonstration of, like, how to do this. Yeah, this, I think, um, this has been used as a really, um, as an example, because apparently they use this same level later on, but with a yep. different mechanic. Alright, so we messed up. I can't get there. Oh, okay. So, we need that guy. This is the time where, like, you need to, mm. you rewind, because that guy, you need that person there. Or need the little, they're supposed to be, um, uh, play on words for, or, uh, Mimicking the guys from Mario, right? The uh, little Goombas. Whatever. Yeah, Goombas, yeah. Alright, so we need to let that guy be. We'll come back and use him in a second. Oh, no. I don't know if gravity plays into it or not, but... Yay! how they emphasize the piece. Mm -hmm. um, and there's only one in this world. across the whole. Alright. Leap of faith. And again, this is not to give anything away, but like this leap of faith level happens like ten times in the game. But just, it gets more complicated, they add new things to it. Mm -hmm. Again, we can't reach that guy. Yet. I think this is the level there where they teach us how to do it. Oh no. See, what I think we need to do is we need to save that did, dude's did, life. Yeah, see, the camera auto-scrolled there, right? Yeah, a little bit. So that, that gives us, like, um, oh. a clue about... See, we need to, like, catch him. Yeah, so you need to watch the fuse. There you go. Nope, too fast. Make it! Yeah! We gotta get four pieces in this level. See, and these pieces all are gonna go to that other puzzle. That's that guy's hand, right? Uh huh. At least it looks like. So now you need to use it for yourself. Yeah. Watch and not get hit by the guy. All right. And I think so. This is the leap uh, of now faith. Now you thing. need to use him yeah. as your bridge or whatever. Yeah, we gotta jump with him. Oh. oh the timing is so ridiculous. <laughs> So this is not a puzzle challenge. This is a reflex twitch <sighs> challenge. Nope. Let's wait for the next one. I think I want to... Oh, man, I don't even know. This one's so frustrating. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess it's teaching, like, some mechanical skill that you're going to need. Oh, so close. <laughs> like, how else are you supposed to do that? I guess you have to catch him a little bit later. A little bit later. <sighs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Missed him that time. Missed him. 
think you want to catch him like way out here. <sighs> oh, hey. You could just go ahead and. Maybe that time I. Maybe you don't need to go up there right now. Yeah. Oops. I need this guy though. Oh, we're actually. I just want to do this. Fall better. Making pretty heavy use of the rewind oh, yeah. already. Yeah, oh yeah, the rewind. <laughs> oh boy. I need to make it onto that ledge. This is what this game becomes though, it becomes like... Can I rewind? Yep. Let's say 0x, what did that I think mean? you can rewind at a certain speed too. Yep. thing where you have to go to the safe zone and it, and it has like the plant thing this is just yep. there's so much that's like a comment on Mario yep look there's a castle your princess is in a castle and princesses <laughs> isn't is another, another castle, castle. Yep. yeah all right so we can go look at this puzzle here but we obviously didn't get all the pieces So, the choice is Phase we can three. we can decide if we want to go to World 3 or if we want to try to go back and get those other pieces. I think, like, World 3, I mean, we're out of the tutorial at that point. We're just mm -hmm. into, like, dealing with it. But there's, like, you know, we obviously haven't gotten all of the pieces in these two worlds. Yeah. Oh, it even shows you how many are in each. Yep. There's two there. One there. Yep. So, we still have two to get here. Great demo of the play. <laughs> well, it's better to show that, like, I mean, one, another great learning concept that's just embedded right into the mechanic is just how low stakes it is, right? Like, yep. Oh, stakes yeah. are oh, yeah. so easily forgotten. Alright, so we want... Oh, I don't need this piece. This is... Oh, yeah. See, again, they, they would never teach you this. There's no teaching of this. Okay, so this is something you have to discover. Yeah, do we want to give it away? Sure. All right, so I need him to come down here, right? Yes, and he won't... so you can jump down on top of him and then jump across. And, well, so I need him I need him down here so I can oh, even get okay. that piece, right? That's right. And there's no way to get him down here. But you have to do this two things. So first of all, this is the only way you could... Here, let's go back to where we're standing. The only way you can figure this out is by happenstance. It's purely by just messing around because I don't know like where you would. Um, this is like the thing that you, you, comes to you late at night. Yeah, you're after. like, wait, <laughs> it makes all of the sense in the world. In the shower, right. you're like, oh, yeah, I'm especially because you get that puzzle piece. Because you would do something like this, where you're like, oh wait, I can land here. Mm -hmm. How else would you know that that's a shelf you can land on? Huh? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But we still need... Um, so, the trick of it is is that like I still clearly can't make that, uh -huh. right? Again, we put the puzzle together, so it's right there. Oh, like, if you hadn't yeah. put the puzzle together right... What if the puzzle's like... I see. Right Just there. Right wherever you want. Right? <laughs> now, the puzzle stays in place when you rewind? I guess so. Did I look at the puzzle? I mean, maybe yeah. The puzzle stays looking. in place when you rewind, right? And look, well, now I'm on that shelf, just like standing there. Oops. Um, <laughs> as long as I stand on that shelf, I 
I probably could have just like gone all the way around. But now I can just. Oops. Huh. Yeah, right? You know, so I get that nice. puzzle. And there's like a cloud there, and I don't really understand why? what's going on that. But then, again, why you would know that this can happen, I don't know. But I feel huh. like if I put this shelf up here. He'll walk across. Oops. Uh, maybe need a little bit lower. Yeah. And he'll just walk across it and then fall down here. Like, why? Oh, then I gotta move it when he's on it. Ah. Because now he's not and on the shelf he's anymore. Down now. No, he's not on the shelf anymore. He's just gonna fall. That shelf's gonna be gone. Oh, I see. right. Like how I was standing on thin air. Okay, and then yeah, fell. it's not moving. Yeah, and again, we just learned that because I was standing on thin air and fell. So I knew that if I moved the shelf while I was on it, then I would fall. So we know that this guy he's gonna fall on me. But that doesn't work. He needs to be going the other way. <laughs> because. Right. Um. So you need to catch it earlier. Yeah, and I'll actually just do this, because we'll put him on it. And then I can move it all at once. Get to rewind. Now he's just going to fall. What? Now you just follow yeah. him. So and what, you can purely, prey on him. Yeah, purely <laughs> learn this from, like, just... Just like, how else would we know? <laughs> how else would we figure that out? Like, yeah. other than just like you felt, you'd have to have like. But the progression isn't gated by that. No. You so could keep you could going. just go to world three and. Yeah, but that's my part that I wanted. Like, it doesn't. You'd never do that. You never use the puzzle for things other times in the game. So if you, we put the puzzle together because that's what we thought. All right, let's look at this puzzle and put it together. Right. That's um, what you do with puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> And if you wouldn't have, like, if you'd have put it together and had it like this, or whatever, like I said, you'd have maybe landed on it, trying to, and then been like, oh, hey, that is a thing That's I can land platform. on, you know, and then I can get there. Mm -hmm. Now we have all the, nope, are we missing a piece? Oh, yeah, we One still need a piece, piece from that. From world, whatever. The, that other world. I feel like we should complete the, the first puzzle. Okay. That's, like, the whole tutorial. All right. I, that finishes the game because we're missing out part so of the So potentially here. this is like much, much later you come back here. Yeah. And you're like to the tutorial. Why didn't I Yeah, get those why last couldn't I get pieces. those two puzzle pieces? Because so, in that home world you um So that's like an opportunity to make the player like feel really clever. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I because you know, they figured it out. There was no teaching about it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe that's like a tutorial concept in Oops. itself of like, don't teach everything. Yeah. Don't make them figure stuff out necessarily because yep. it is it is optional, right? Yep. All right. So this one, we just gotta get the timing down. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is more mechanical. Yeah. Oh boy. Not good. Oh, oh so, so close. Yeah. Oh. I think the the way to do it is to like is like slow it down and then do something like that. I wonder what this hitbox is because it looks like you're touching. Anyway. So close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sadness. But that's, yeah, we could sit here for hours doing this. <laughs> um, and that's one of my main frustrations with the game is that there are there some are mechanic some, things yeah. where you have to, like, be really good at it. And someone will be like, oh, you're just missing it. And we probably are. Like, maybe we are just missing it. But, like, in my mind, the mechanic what? is you're just doing this that until nothing, you get it this right. This isn't a puzzle. This no, is yeah. just... Being good at platformers, right? Yeah. I want to try one more time. Okay. <laughs> one more time. One more time. <laughs> I don't even want to do it. It's so, <laughs> it's so frustrating. Yeah. So maybe this is like a so thing, uh, again, like almost in the same vein of uh, that last puzzle where, like, this is something you have to sort of realize. Yeah, you have to, like, okay. at later, probably, mm -hmm. unless you're, you know, 
super clever. Um, and here's something where you you also have to come back to it later, but for different reasons because you know by then you're like very used to the mechanic. And yeah, and figured and practiced it. Yeah, I mean you do it you do it a lot. Um, like I said throughout the game, that leap of faith one is like in there all the time. Um, but I wanted to go back to the. Home I wonder, world. like, for someone who has never played Mario. Oh, it's so much Mario. Like this guy's square, specifically to be like Mario. Right. Like his proportions when he moves around is square, just to be like Mario. Um, I mean the the castle and the flag and all of that kind of stuff. I mean, it's really a, uh, a play on that. Yeah. Um, plants coming out of pipes. Pipes, yeah. But then there's like some wild stuff that they introduce that's like totally the opposite of Mario, which is really cool. Um, again, later on in the world. So you, like, you know, what ends up happening, I think when most folks play through this, is that they'll get to where they fill up like some of the maps, because eventually all these rooms light up, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then you'll be like, oh, I'm missing a puzzle piece. And then you have to go back and like figure out how to get that puzzle piece. And again, that's awesome about when you think of learning, too. It's like, I learned these ten other things. Oh, that informs how I do that first. Yeah. That thing that was at the beginning, right? Yeah, like I did, I did that okay. I did yeah. it enough yeah. to get past it and right. move on. But, but then um, I want to go back to the puzzle. now I'm a master, thing. so. Right, yeah. right. Which, like I said, you don't get that with this puzzle piece thing, um, but when you, with all of the other stuff that they introduce, it does. And then the game sort of flips on its head, which is fun. I don't want to give any away about it. It's, it's really cool, and it's uh, that's what makes the game like amazing. When you're just like, oh, all right, um, you got me, John Blow. Yeah, this is pretty solid. So, yeah, that's Braid, and um, I think Braid does a lot of really. I, I, I've talked about it a lot with learning in the sense of the things we talked about today, and I think it does a great job of showing some of those um, concepts that are like Jim G's principles of why we, you know, what we can learn from video games, right? Um, things that are sticky and you want to keep trying it, and things that are scaffolded well, uh -huh. and things that the progression builds upon it on mm -hmm. itself, um, and, and also keeping consequences for failure low. And yeah rewards for success really high. Yep, failure is, is a huge piece of this, um, which has then since been turned into Super Meat Boy. Like, this game yeah. is, like, then re It's, a, like, the inverse of Super, because, yep. yeah. Yep. Um, and then... Well, I guess not so much. You just get respawned if yeah, you yeah, fail, yeah. but... It's all about yeah, fail. failing over and over. over. Um, and then also, the identity is a big thing in this, and, like, how we, like how we start to say that we're Tim, even though all of that stuff that was writing is like, Tim is like a separate Yeah, kind of thing. I wonder and like, if this isn't Tim, is it? I mean, you don't, this guy's got red hair, like, so I don't know what that character is. You know, so like, how you start to identify with like, the learning, the puzzle, right? Yeah. Like, how you start to become part of the puzzle, I mean, which is again. is this supposed to be the apartment that you shared with the princess or whatever? Uh, yeah. I would say so, but you know, it's a, it's interesting because we got a computer down here. Yeah. And a lamp. Right, and our There's bathroom has got. Closet. But you know, we got castles and stuff and dinosaurs, but we also have, you know, light fixtures that are motion detectors, <laughs> right, and chandeliers and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, and the story, like how it plays out and how you like get sucked into it and that kind of thing, is what, you know, again, mm -hmm. I wish we could build better narratives and stories and with our learning experiences because it doesn't take a whole lot of story and I could skip past all of those books and skip all of that story. Um, and still get sucked into it, and I think that that's something that's still a challenge for. Yeah, I wonder if like people, if um, most players start to pay more and more attention to the books, like as mm -hmm. the game goes on, or maybe less and less. Right. Because right. they're just like okay, onto the. Yeah. Like, this is I don't. I don't know. Um, what the truth is, but mysteries. <laughs> Learning universe. Yeah. No, it's interesting. But I feel like yeah, if you if you get invested in it, maybe you do care about that. Mm -hmm. But then again, maybe if you're like craving that next win of like mechanical success with right, the right, game, right. maybe you don't care ever. Right. I don't know. I get maybe that's down to player styles. Yeah, it's, which is true. And that, again, that's still like that mirrors with learning too, right? We have yeah. like learning styles and progression. Like, yeah, there's people who want to win and learning because of that next mechanical success, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and similarly, you have folks that want to, um, like it takes just like even the- Explore every avenue. Yeah, in the sandbox style way, right? And then even like the simplest narrative you can apply, like 
I remember a teacher one time saying like that um, this is a Chicago Quest teacher and he's talking about um, they weren't taking a quiz they were and they all knew they were taking a quiz but it was like all right check your email you have a survey from the mayor that you need to fill out you know and it was just like yeah you're filling out this survey from the mayor but it was totally a quiz and they all right. knew it but like for some learners like that little bit of story like oh yeah we've, we've been working on this project with the mayor of There's our fictional story town. my mom tells about when I was like three or four years old or something mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to play Star Trek and my mom wanted me to like help her clean yeah so she was like let's clean the Enterprise Okay. And I was yeah, like, solid. okay. Yeah, right, 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 right. You're in. <laughs> and then we just cleaned and pretended that we were cleaning the enterprise. Right, right. And that was enough. Like, yeah. So I think some folks, like, really, and that's the same with the game example that you gave. Like, some folks will just, that little bit of narrative, the mechanic can be tough mm -hmm. or whatever, but they're in because that little bit of narrative you add on to it, they'll keep playing. Yeah, um, and it's important that, like, beyond the basics, like, none of these things are gates. Right. Right? Like, you, you can can keep going without doing the like cleverest mechanical yep. thing and you can keep going without paying attention to the narrative mm -hmm. at all yep. um, that's like that min max or behavior right where there's like some folks that really want to like complete 100 percent right the, the the options and so you could totally go through this whole game and not i mean not finish everything at the t at the pace and timing that um the game prescribed and there's like extra stuff you can do and pick up as you go too that's not relevant to or not critical to beating the beating the game uh -huh. depending on your definition of like winning it right yeah again as i say those it's so hard to like not think about learning in the same yeah no, no, just no. i mean so it's well. they're one in the same right yep yeah it's fascinating very cool, cool. yeah thanks so much for taking me through yeah, this, no, this is yeah. Fun. Yeah, it's it's super fun yeah we should do another game maybe one where it has like a terrible tutorial so we can like land based it i mean have you played journey uh, no, I haven't. Journey's my other one, my other go-to. For um, good tutorial? Or? No, there's no tutorial. <laughs> you just play. There's uh, no introduction at yeah. all. I mean, um, it's like in how Braid, in that first screen, it said, like, use your arrows. Like, uh -huh. that game starts, it says use your arrows. There's no, there is no... Isn't that all you need to know, though? Like, for but there's, Journey? But there's no... Um, there's no goal, so... There are no goals set. There are no. There's no communication to the player throughout the entire game, right. ever. Um, so I think it's fascinating. I mean, I love that game. It's amazing, and like that, totally one of those games where I like play over and over to try to, you know, win through it faster. But yeah, it's it's no instructions whatsoever. Um, you can play kids' games all day long. The games that we have our kids design, and like, uh -huh. it's so fun to play through with them. And I'm like, you built all these instructions. Like, why did you do that? You hate that when their game is full of tons of instructions and you have to go through like a paragraph or a whole page of reading to go. These um, are like tabletop games. No, we we build the uh, like scratch games. Okay, like, right. Yeah. On. And but there's like, like a, they'll a screen like of text. Screen of text to like start the game out. I'm like, ah, you can't stand when the game has this, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we would totally find one that's like. But I mean, that's that goes to show you like how much work it is to do mm -hmm. this sort of thing where you things over time yeah, yeah. like um, when they're necessary yeah, right. and also like building mechanics that teach it's or like you know levels puzzles yeah, yeah. that teach um, instead of like just telling you um, yeah here's the challenge go to it here's right. how to solve it yeah instead of telling you how to solve it they're yeah. just like you know this is this is what you got to do yeah, yeah figure yeah. it out yeah no it's yeah I, but I totally there are you but know. the figuring it out part is like small enough that mm -hmm. you know basically anyone anybody can do it yeah yeah and I think but there are definitely like professional games that are like I mean coming from the games and learning world where uh, colleagues were building games and we were building games and I'm like we're still missing some of these pieces but even like on the commercial level there are still games that like totally do that um, absolutely they just intentionally like, and unintentionally have right? a screen of like yeah. here are all the controls so they have a picture of the controller and like yep, what yeah, every yeah, button yeah. does and then yep. it's like now shoot everyone yep <laughs> which is fun cool cool yeah. thanks again no, thank appreciate you. it fantastic and thanks for watching yeah uh, yeah until next time cool <laughs>